Fox News contributor and former FBI special agent Nicole Parker. Nicole, good to see you. Thank you so much for being here. There are many questions this morning as far as how anybody was able to get into a place to get off all of those shots and hit President Trump, potentially take him down. I want to get your take on the security uh, and obviously a failure from uh, security in that regard. Um, first of all, thank you for having me, Maria. It's always a pleasure to join your program. Um, you know, we're all just shaking our heads, especially those in law enforcement. You know, I've worked events with uh, Secret Service in the past, and how this ever occurred is mind-boggling, and it's actually terrifying for America. If a 20-year-old can disrupt the political process in the United States and ignite this massive firestorm, uh, look at our adversaries. Can you imagine? They're probably sitting back laughing. This is inexcusable. It is unacceptable. And how this occurred, it, it is a failure. It is a failure. You know, the investigation will come out eventually. Unfortunately, a lot of Americans do not trust the investigation by the FBI that's going to be conducted. But I know that, you know, Congress will be involved as well. How did this happen? How did the shooter ever get within that close proximity? 130 yards is extremely close. And it, it's, it's mind boggling. I think there are some major issues going on behind the scenes that a lot of us may not know or understand. Uh, there was an event that Jill Biden was actually attending on July 13th at the exact same time in the Pittsburgh area, the same time, the same location as President Trump. And I believe that the U.S. Secret Service is probably understaffed. They are being overworked, understaffed, underpaid, um, and, it, it's, and it's difficult. And so I imagine that maybe they were didn't have enough individuals for that event, and maybe they were relying more on the locals for the event, maybe delegating responsibilities. It's difficult. You don't want to point the finger, and, you know, without the facts, I, I don't want to, you know, point the finger at the wrong individuals, but it is an epic fail. And yeah, President well, Trump well, is alive because of the grace of God, not because well, of anything else, because right. of luck and the grace of God. Well, look, what you, to, to speak to what you just said, the real clear politics reporter uh, who was talking more about this over the weekend says that the problem, according to his Secret Service sources, was that Secret Service resources were diverted to the First Lady, uh, Jill Biden. Um, and she had the event, as you just said, and they were taken away from Trump because they claimed they followed agency protocol applying to Trump as a former president, according to two sources within the Secret Service community, which is what what Real Clear Politics is reporting. Now, I want to point out that the Secret Service and the White House are denying this. They're saying, no, we did not divert any, uh, a a any security from Trump. Uh, so we've got he said, she said, going on. But certainly there are growing calls for the Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle to resign after the total right. security breakdown at that Pennsylvania rally. Critics say that she's dropped the ball because she's too busy focusing on woke diversity, equity and inclusion policies. Nicole, your reaction? My reaction is that where was she or where was any representative from the United States Secret Service at the initial press conference? I mean, that is their site. They should have had a representative there. Why have we not heard from her yet? Americans want to understand if it is not as important enough for her to show her face in the light of a former president, you know, a potential assassination. If there is a time for her to come forward, it is now. And, and it's just radio silence. It's unacceptable. And she has this plan in place. It's very well known. You know, by 2030, she wants 30 percent of, you know, female staff at the Secret Service. Maria, why should that matter? We should be focused on protecting. That is the job of the Secret Service. Anything else is a distraction. Any of this diversity, equity, inclusion, any of this, is, it's a distraction from the true mission. And I saw the same exact thing at the FBI, unfortunately. I started to wonder. Am I working for a social justice warrior club or am I working for the FBI? And I've heard that the Secret Service is even worse than the FBI in that regard. We were getting constant emails about every diversity club under the sun. That is not your job when you are coming in as a federal agent. You are coming to protect and, and to serve the American people. And if that's the case, it is wrong. They yeah. should be spending yeah. the money being spent on the diversity programs. Why don't you spend that money on advancing your technology, getting some drones? Some drones could have prevented the entire fiasco and potential tra tragedy of losing a former president. But, but it's, it's, it's focused is somewhere else, and it's just not right. Well, I mean, it's the same criticism that we hear about the overall military, uh, that, you know, when you're talking about the military, you want people to focus on readiness. That's what the priority ought to be, not anything else. So, Nicole, you make uh, the right point spot on. Always good to talk with you. Thank you so much. Thank you.